Hello there and welcome to my workshop. I hope you can hear me over the wind noise outside. We've got gale force winds today. However, today I am going to show you how to etch a photograph, a HD photograph, into glass. And I'm sure you'll all recognize this is Captain Jack. Captain Jack Sparrow or Johnny Depp. Now, etch it into wood can be difficult as well. Glasses can be quite difficult. <laughs> um, so I've, I've done this a couple of times, as in this particular photograph, and that's it in a, a very, very good pine, but you can see that the the grain pattern will actually give you different shading, okay? Um, now this is a, an oak, lovely dark picture, and the grain doesn't give you so many problems. It's quite a nice reproduction. And actually the best reproduction of all in woods is man-made wood because it takes all the grain pattern away and you know it leaves you with a, an even surface for the laser to etch it to. So that's three examples of the photograph. But the subject today is etching into glass. So now we'll go over to the computer and I'll show you stage by stage the programs to use and how to treat a HD photograph to etch with a laser. Before I start, I just want to point out one thing. If you go into my videos and scroll down through, there's a lot of videos there. Um, quite a lot of um, laser videos and CNC rotor videos and what have you and all the way down to about a year ago oh here and I believe it's 200 and it's video number 208 actually and I, the reason I point this one out is because I've had an explosion of interest uh, in laser operation, my laser operation videos. And um, uh, hundreds of people are asking me where to buy a, a, a good laser from. Well, this particular video, I explain to you what you should be looking for in a good laser. And something else I will point out is if the manufacturer that you choose won't supply you with a licensed version of either LaserCut 6.1 or Adi Works, don't buy from them. Okay? Word of advice. Okay, so on to today's tutorial. You can probably hear the wind out there. We're having up to 80 miles an hour wind gusts. So uh, I just hope uh, I don't lose any more trees. <laughs> okay, so what you will need, and these are free, totally free programs. You don't have to buy expensive programs to, to operate a laser. Now I use, first of all, Windows Utility, it's a Windows Paint, free program with Windows. Apple, I suppose, would have an equivalent to that. Okay, so what, we, what you do, you need to look for or take your own photograph or be supplied with a photograph of high definition. The higher the definition of the, the picture, 
the better reproduction you're going to get. A low resolution picture, well, it's just going to be a mess. Okay, so we get our picture and put it into Windows Paint. Now, what this at the moment, this picture at the moment is too dark. Okay, so we have to lose some of the, the background color. Now you do that very easily um, by choosing, well I choose an airbrush and we want it to be white so that first one there is selected so select the color which is white and the size of the airbrush jet then that I want is large so I can go in here and take a lot lot of this out okay and you just work away at it work away at it take a lot of it out and keep on going what you have got to be careful of is um, going around the actual picture itself so you don't lose the you know the photograph part that you want to keep so you want to keep his hair in there and things like that um, but you can if you want to you can ch change the size of the jet and go smaller or even if you wanted to you can go to um, a, a good one to use is a, is a brush um, large and this will actually take out all of the, um, the pixels or all of the color so that's what you need to do is go so just start here go around the outside of him like this and whatever method that um, you know sort of works for you so I'm just showing you briefly here I mean you know it's much more fun having a go at this yourself but you take out all the areas of color that you don't want and when we go to machine this or etch this with the laser it will become apparent to you uh, in a very short space of time anyway so you get rid you know it's quite time consuming so I won't sort of bore you too much and um, so you know you get rid of the color that you you don't want and it's preferable not to have you know sort of a full black but just have the main image uh, you know you want to keep and you don't touch that at all okay so um, I'll, I'll continue doing this now and uh, I'll cut the, the video and bring you back in when I've finished okay okay so I have now got rid of all the color that I don't want now bear in mind this this is a HD photograph all right so it's it's rather big it's a, in actual life size it's yay big um, you know we're going to condense that down to like a postcard size um, so what we need to do now is to save this as a bitmap because that is the language that well laser programs and um, other at computer programs that's what they understand and we're going to use another free program in a minute to do a process called dithering in a minute and it, it's preferable to have a bitmap picture for that process so here we go so we just come up here to file save as oh no not save as sorry so come up here open up save as 
bitmap picture. Save as bitmap picture. And we're going to save that into laser. Open and save. So we're, we're done with this program now. So the next program we're going to use is another free program. Free for download, free to use, and I recommend it because it's a very powerful program, and that is GIMP. Okay, so we'll, we'll bring up GIMP, and now we will bring our picture in. Um, and you can see it is a, it's a big picture, it's um, 800 millimeters, which is not far off a yard wide. Uh, and you can see we've cleaned up all this area and we just have the main bust now, or head of our subject that we want to etch into the glass. Um, so what we need, we need to do two things here with this program. Even though we see this as black and white, there's about over 200 different colors in there that we, we just can't pick up with our eyes. So we need to make sure that we get rid of all the uh, other colors in there and just we just want gray or black and white and all the colors in between and get rid of all the other colors that may be in there. I know that's in there. So we go into image, go to mode, grayscale. So now that's removed all the colors that are in the background. Then you go here to filters and distorts and newsprint. Now a few things here we need to alter. We want the smallest cell size possible, in other words pixel size. And we need to, if you notice here, it's, it's sort of patching that way and that way. Well, um, that may, might be a problem to us with the laser. So what we have to do is turn the pixels, okay, instead of a diamond shape, we want straight square shape. So we're going to turn that now, and you do it with this here angle, so you just catch all the slider. Oop. Pull it back to. Oop. If I can get a zero there, and you can notice these are changing in the background. So I'm just going to put the zero on there, and that's fine. I'm going to press OK. Dithered. This is how a newspaper picture print is made. Each one of these um, is a little tiny square or a pixel and believe it or not each one of those is broke up into little tiny sections as well and it's the amount of shall we say I'll show you in the next program exactly what that is and you'll be able to understand it a little better. So we're going to save this at the moment. Well, I'm going to export that. Um, no, then we want to export that as a Windows bitmap export. Okay, that's done. We're done with that, that uh, program now, so we can get out of that. Cancel and get out. 
Okay, so the next program we're going to use is LaserCut 6.1. Now this is the program where we set it up to do the engraving by the laser and it's, this is the one where you set all the power settings and even manipulate the picture itself further. Okay, so we come up here to import our picture off the desktop, which is there, scroll down. Looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Well, in actual fact, that picture is made up of millions and millions of little little dots. And that's what we con converted it to. This is called dithering. This is what the laser understands. Each one of these squares, the laser is going to fire into the glass. Well, actually, that's not strictly true, because we're going to do something in a minute. Uh, for us to etch this into the glass, we need to do two things. First of all, choose a size that, we, that works for us. So we select the whole thing, come over to the side, right click, size. Make sure the lock scale is turned on. And we want this to be um, 150, 6 inches high. The, the X automatically changes. Okay. Don't worry about what you see. If it looks a bit uh, hexy. As you can see, it comes out all right. So what we're going to do now, now this is, if we was going to etch this into wood, we leave the picture like this and do our settings. Uh, I did show you how to etch into wood on the last video. This time, very much different. We are going to invert the colors because when you engrave in glass, when the laser hits the glass, it fractures it very slightly and melts it as well. But just the top layer. And it shows up white. So if we left this picture as it was and engraved it into the glass, whatever you see black here would turn out white. And it would end up being a negative or look like a negative. The old fashioned negative photograph. So we have to invert these colors. So when the laser lays it onto the glass, and you, you have it on a black background, like I showed you just now, it comes up as a picture. And you do that very simply by coming over here to this box here, and this is Invert Colors. And it looks like a negative now, but when the laser etches it into the glass, you know, it's going to fire, wherever there's black on here, it's going to fire. So it's going to turn out white. Okay. <laughs> Bit complicated, but that's the way it works. Now then, so we have to go up, first, yeah, we've got it selected. First of all, go up here, go to this little checkbox, check, engrave, double click, and now the engraving wizard comes up. Now I can tell it 400, yeah, 400 millimeters is fine. By direction, laser's gonna fire both directions, this way and that way. Engrave blowing, always engrave blowing. The air that comes in through the nozzle uh, not only blows the debris and smoke and what have you away, although you don't have that with glass. Um, it's there to keep the underside of the, laser, underside of the lens clean uh, inside the nozzle and also keep it cool. That's, one of, that's the three main jobs that it does. 
always in great blowing. Um, okay, 20 as a minimum power level, fine. But we need to step this up a little. And this needs to be 35. And I have explained in other videos um, that, you know, this is a percentage of the, the power sent from the high voltage power unit. Um, it only relates slightly to the power that's coming out of the laser. It's not 20 and 35 watts. It is actually um, about 35 watts and 55 watts. It's not a linear thing. Uh, I've explained in other videos about that. Anyway, nothing else we have to fill in here. Down top, it actually means the opposite way around, but it's a bit of Chinglish. It starts here and works that way. That's what I always prefer to, to use. Press OK. I'm going to put the information now on my thumb drive, take it over to the computer that's operating the laser, and um, we'll set the laser going and etch it into a sheet of glass. result, if I can actually get this in the right sort of light for you to see, is quite spectacular in glass. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, please press like and subscribe to my channel. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons who, well, if it wasn't for my patrons, uh, you know, I couldn't keep doing this. So uh, thank you very much, guys. And if you would like to become a patron, uh, the information is down below this uh, video. So on my channel, you will see wood turning, CNC routing, uh, CNC milling, uh, actually conversions on, on uh, CNC machines as well, as in a lathe and a milling machine to CNC, and um, also laser operation, everything to do with the laser. So uh, please in the comments, if it's something that you want to specifically see or don't understand, um, you know, I will do my best to um, include it into the next video for you. So again, thank you for watching and uh, it's bye for now.